We believe the reason the Lord had us go to Israel this year had to do with Psalms 102, verse 13. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come. We believe the Lord had put on our hearts this year that he wanted us to be his hands, his feet, and just be with the people there and bless them however you can. We were able to go into Israel and have worship concerts, which allowed people to come in and be ministered to, but also support the people of Israel through humanitarian efforts. The support from home is just absolutely necessary, both spiritually and financially, to be sent and prayed for and interceded for. The prayers and support of the people that for us while we were there, we could feel that protection, that covering. When that servant runs up to Elisha and says, you know, these people are coming to get us, and Elisha says, well, Lord, show them what I see. And he shows them the army of angels in the background. And that's what I feel like is behind us, is all this prayer support of this army behind us, sending us. I could tell, you know, the, the presence of the Lord and that people were praying not just within our group, but back here as well. Hear them say, we're praying for you every day, and how are you doing, and what else can we do for you? To know people are interceding and praying for you is very, very important. It's just so important, and we thank everyone for praying and seeking the Lord on our behalf. Because of your giving, lives were impacted. Uh, that church in, in Israel that we spent two days cleaning up, their lives were impacted. That nursery that money was given to and we were able to paint the room and, and get new toys for, those kids' lives were loved because of what you gave to us. The times that we were able to lead worship through conferences at King of Kings in Jerusalem or up in Mount Carmel, those lives were impacted because you gave to us. I would just like to thank you very much for sending us to Israel, for praying for us and for supporting us. Uh, without your support, we would really be unable to do this. So we thank you uh, really for all you've done and ask that you continue to pray for the things in the future that God has that we're really all part of one ministry. We're part of the kingdom of God. There's only one kingdom of God. So some are the ones that are sent and some are the ones doing the sending and others are covering in prayer. Whatever your part is, it's essential for us to keep moving forward with God's heart.